Motile Cemetery, when British Special Forces shot dead an IRA team, three bodies were brought to Belfast. Michael Stone fired shots. According to folklore, when challenged, gained entry to the heavily steward cemetery by uttering Chucky R. La. Apocryphal or not, the phrase is riddled with an English subtext. An Irish one cannot own a day, ownership being a hazy concept, nor can a day have active volition. Lily Bolero Bolanola in full is a corruption of An Lily Bolero Bolanola, the theme tune of the old BBC. World Service, posted at the graves in Milltown Cemetery, an apologist or a psychiatrist <coughs> might interpret Stone's act as the voice heard by the French royalist, the archangel's role against the rebel forces of Lucifer occurred to stone. Word bubble ambiguities rub up against each other of the broad thoroughfare of the falls. The derelict mill that had once been powered by streams that emanated from Black Mountain, flowing beyond, carved out by artifice and weathering, the remedy for this injury. Hospital, humour, inordinately boring, steadily progressive myopia, mishandle ricochet as the headlights, the blank stone eyes of archangels, you feel the dead are signalling to you from a rocky orifice on Black Mountain and down the mountain lone both river bed and road like the Barset River that ran below the yard of St. Gall's School in Waterville Street. Barset, the name of Belfast, Belfastia August Achanam Yafalaski, notes that the educated on the first syllable Belfast and powerful influence of the BBC, the working class, pronounce it Belfast. Belfast. As do most country people, those few who survive, waited on the last syllable. What the name means, the mouth of the pool might receive some corroboration from local facts, but as it is, claims that Belfast is derived Bell in Celtic means Ford, Bell or Ford of the Barset. Scholars since the times of Joyce misunderstood the Battle of the Boy. Belfast and illustrated history. The mystery and truth in a people closely connected with the Picts. Barden gives the date of 666 AD, one of the of the Beast, Lothnaferstu. The Axel people, power source of the Strait of Mills, in which both denominations were employed. Traditionally focused around the heart for the third time that week at family rosary time, these circumstances would be overturned. The flimsy sheep itself from Saint Susie Park, a tea cozy cottage, its threshold into the imaginary room beyond. The slow metronome of a pendulum clock, the light of a Vermeer interior, the same calm brightness follows across the crinkles of a wall map, 
Anderson's flying trump that made remarkable expeditions for such an ostensibly floor-bound item. The Sherbet Fountains, Miss Boyd, Matron, Richard Chamberlain, Gardner, Arts Council of Northern Ireland, 1818 Grand Mills Road, the bungalow opposite 198 Grand Mills Road, the floor furthest from the fire, a stamp type. A hungala day on the cloud that you could get a though it was only an embryo, you could see it was a bull calf. Curry in the cloak and told you, dryads murmur from within. The trees and moths flit through dabbled moonshine, trembled by a zephyr, the occasional swash of a car for an instant, and a migraine flicker. You imagine yourself the steering wheel absorbing the luminous lips. <laughs> scaffolding for the naves of half a dozen cathedrals. The, scaffold, the skeleton within the scaffolding, at the sight of which the men held their breaths, bosses and bearings of propellers the size of windmills. Men were laying on concrete beds, sliding ways of pitch pine to support the monster. When she was moved, the pavement surface, more than two tons, spread upon the waves, fixed against the bulk of the ship. When the moment came, the waters thrust her finally from the earth, built by Messrs. Harland and Wolf. The twin vessels marked such an increase in size, but the voyage was never completed. Two hours and a half later, her crew were drowned and 705 rescued. A floating palace sailed from Southampton in 1898. Rich passengers savoured her luxury. The book's title was Utility. Fourteen years later, a real luxury liner laden with rich passengers there were not enough lifeboats. Robertson's novel, A Tramp Steamer, Canada Bound from Tyneside. Midnight. The time the Titanic had hit the iceberg, the sea had been calm. These thoughts took shape and swelled into omens. His lonely watch, his tired bloodshot eyes, the coincidence was terrifying. It was the day he had been born. The ship turned to a halt. Deadly icebergs crowned it in and around the tramp steamer to display their wonder. Light so much more intense, this beautiful ship in dire distress, telling and warning of the calamity happening in the world beneath. A fellow passenger, the narrow approach, opportunity was to be found. The background too was different.
star factory. Parts of car harms. Two or three locations. I find myself re-entering the turnstiles of the Falls Road Baths with my hard beating trunks. They're afraid of meaning inhabiting a sentence without digesting it. Diverse personal narratives and many layered time scales. Dogs howled unaccountably at the sound. How abrupt and naggy and space vehicle as far as multitude of workers and lifeboat modes like a dandelion from the band of drop from early speculative fiction, cinema and obscure Esperanto novels with fellow Esperantists in the Soviet Union and Springfield, Massachusetts the news of some great cataclysm in the forested interior hoary workers loads and loads of rare commodity gangs of metronomic hog carriers moved on regiments of scaffolding and ladders as if reconstructing echo chamber conversations not over accidentally those who sought the starry rock and Aztec crystal skull. With dazzling effect we saw tattered wraiths of cloud, recumbent idols gazed at us, following with difficulty the time-worn sketch map we would fall through trapdoors, confirmed a chapter of the serial, your man manacled and shackled the beaten track where gospel truth met myth. So Patrick has a dream whose iconic details might in different shifts of emphasis or context elevate and quicken the narrative. A sort of turf becomes a parable. The sacred heart reminds us one of the power, smile or frown the synthetic horn, a duffel coat tile, a brooch with a broken tax, each could tell its tale, a narrative abyss. Other alcoves, other niches, each a cornucopia of past associations, the storyteller leaves ornamental flourishes received from generations past mitigated by the grain of his voice, the literal womb, that brown glazed mixing bowl, for instance. <laughs> <laughs>